this, but one of the things that I wanted to ask you is, when do you guys market? Yes, thank you. Not just before you want to get a client, but you market actually before you get the client, during the time that you're getting the client, and after the time you're getting the client. Now, the next thing, do we have any photographers here in the room by any chance? If you're at a networking meeting, if you're in a place where you introduce yourself, how do you introduce yourself? What's, what's the little thing that you tell people that you are? Uh, I, I thought you meant professional photographer. I mean, amateur photographer. I, uh, but I do we have any professional guys here? Well, how do you call yourself when you, when you say, hey, my name is what I am a... A product photographer, okay. Now, if you're in a place that um, there's a bunch of you guys there, the same kind of group. Um, thanks, Rick. Go on. How do you stand out? How do you make yourself different? How do you make that guy go and say, oh, I met 10 people that do what you do, and I really like that guy, but I don't remember who he is. I have all the business cards, but I don't even know whose name goes who with what business card. Tell people why it is that you are. Don't tell them who you are. Don't tell them what you do. Tell them why you're doing that. What do I do for my clients? What is the benefit that I bring to the table? So before you get to know the people. That's the most consuming part of marketing. You're trying to push this out. You're trying to explain exactly who you are. That's all the stuff that you're kind of pushing out. So when I tell people who I am, what I do, I have a little elevator pitch. And it's um, actually one word. I tell people I'm a mind changer. And my clients get right away what that means to their business. That means that I'm gonna create content for you that changes the mind of your customers. And that's exactly why they hire me. I'm a product photographer too. Everything is just a product. Um, the same thing you have um, online these days where you need to talk about your, I call it the online elevator pitch, not the elevator pitch. And that's what we just heard about with Google. What do you need to know what people are typing in that search field when they're looking for your services? They're not looking for you at this point. They're just looking for a product photographer. If I don't know what my people are searching for, I'm never going to get to their first result on the first page in Google. So this is how I got my elevator pitch. Go on. Um, I did a quick film that I showed in a school. We did a little um, poll before and after. I saw that we had made a huge change in the attitude of the audience, and I wrote a blog post that said how to change 100 minds in 15 minutes. And I went, wait a second, that mind changing thing is huge. So ever since then, I've been Mr. Mind Changer. Um, I wear the shirt a lot, I have the website, I explain to my clients in one word what I do. If you meet me and 10 people at the same networking event, how are they going to forget me versus everybody else? Then we have, um, when, while they're getting to know you, that's when we market too, right? But usually we're producing what we do. We are building the website. We're taking the pictures. We're making the campaign. We kind of forget that we're marketing. We forget that we're communicating our brand. And it's hard to do, but you need to remember that this is the most delicate phase of marketing because you need to be authentic. Your brand and what you're saying has to match. Because if you've said online, hey, I'm this, and you turn out to be something completely different, what's gonna happen on that repeat business? The people are gonna be like, yeah, well, I, I searched for the guy, I found this, I really liked what I saw online, we hired him to do fill in the blank what you do, yeah, but he disappointed me because he wasn't what he said he was gonna be. So your marketing in person is actually really, really, really important. You have to do a good job at being that authentic, what we just heard earlier, those 10 reviews, those are gonna come from somebody going, I searched this, I found this guy, he produced whatever he does for me, I really liked it, let me leave him a review. 
And that social proof, that authentication is, is super valuable in our marketing. I thought authenticity was like, of course, we have to be authentic. But I'm finding more and more that people look really great online. You hire them, and then you're just like, oops. <laughs> it's not what I thought this was going to be. The flip side of authenticity, I think, is even more important. And this is where I want to talk a little bit about marketing more. Don't be like everybody else. In fact, I believe that the best marketing you can do is exactly what everybody else is not doing. So if everybody's on Google AdWords, maybe you need to look at doing something else. If everybody's blogging, maybe you need to come up with something else. If everybody's doing a print ad, maybe you need to be the guy that stands out. So the marketing hacks that I use in my business all the time are so different, but they, they don't have to be expensive. They don't have to be complicated. They can be as simple as uh, a couple years ago, there was a lady who won the 30 under 30 in, ad, in one of the ad magazines. And I tweeted all of the winners, and I said, hey, congratulations. And she tweets me back, and she said, I didn't even know I was on this list. Thanks so much for letting me know. So I fed extra the copy of my magazine. It cost me, what, a couple bucks. She was floored to get the copy. I don't need it. It's going to be in my trash in a week. For her, it's like you know, the most important thing she's done in 10 years because she's on this massive list. It can be that simple, it can be that small, or it can be as crazy as flying a plane from halfway around the world into a hangar and doing a world premiere of a movie with a plane standing next to the, the screen that you're showing the movie on, and anything in between. But again, it needs to be who you are. Be authentic with that. Be your brand. Be the person that you look like you are online, or better yet, <laughs> make the person that's online look like who you really are because you're not going to be able to do this. So that's my... After they get to know you, you market as well. We just said you're marketing all the time, before they get to know you, during the time they're getting to know you, and then after the time they're getting to know you. This never stops. You are always doing this. I don't care how long you have the relationship with a client. You are constantly marketing to them. You are constantly saying, this is who I am. This is what I do. How can I build value to your brand? How can I do a better job for you? What can I do? The secret to that, and I think the next talks about this, is really, really, really good customer service. Your current customers should be the most important people in your life or in your brand's life or in your company's life. You should focus on them all the time If you take care of your current customers, you're going to be great. You're going to do really, really well. Let me tell you an example. So I do photography and cinematography. I do commercial work. And the most diabolical marketing I've ever done, and that's an actual client quote, was a few weeks ago. I was in Dallas. I was at a friend's house who's a client of mine. He's the vice president of marketing for a billion-dollar company. We're hanging out. And I notice in his garage, the fridge that he has in his garage, when you come in, the door opens, so you have to walk around the fridge. And I'm like, I can change that door for you. I'm just going to, there's a little three screws on the top. Just move the hinge over. Now the door opens the other way around. He calls me a week later. He goes, that's the most diabolical thing you've ever done in marketing, because every time I open that fridge, I think of you. <laughs> it has nothing to do with photography. I didn't put a sticker on the fridge that said, you know, brought to you by photography by DePool. <laughs> I just treated a customer well. I saw he had a problem. I fixed the problem. It took me 20 minutes with his tools to fix a problem for him. That week, phone call later, he hired me on a five-figure job. Just because I took the time and said, how can I serve my current customer? So when you market, especially when you're marketing after they get to know you and you have those relationships, do something that's unique. How many of his vendors do you think have done something like that for him? Any guesses? Zero, right? Nobody would have done that. Now, he's a friend of mine. I don't, 
I'm also not suggesting that you walk into all of your clients' homes and change the doors on their refrigerators. My point is, marketing can be anything. It doesn't have to be the glossy brochure. It doesn't have to be the really well-written email. It doesn't have to be any of that stuff. Just make people remember you. So before you get to know them, you're telling them why you are. While you're getting to know them, you're being authentic and you're being the person that you actually are, and hopefully that matches up with what they see online. And after they get to know you, you need to show that you care for your customer. That has to be the number one priority in your business. Any questions? It needs to be authentic, A. It cannot be, uh, I'm sorry, the question was, if you send a thank you note after you're done with your job, how do you follow up six months, a year later than that? How do you stay with that relationship? Number one, it has to be authentic. So if I've been one way with them the whole time, I can't all of a sudden now start sending them flowers if that's never happened. You know, it has, there has to be, that has to be me, it has to be my brand. Look for, look for a reason to send them a, you know their birthday, that's one reason to talk with them about it. When they post stuff on social media that you've created, like when they do my photos on social media, I'll hit them up and be like, wow, that looks so great. Who shot that? I know who it is, my stuff. They know I know who did. Hi, oh, it's so funny. Yeah, we're working on this next project. Let's talk in a month. Does that help? An example of a why? Yes. For me, it's mind changer. So I, vis I create visual content. So all of your websites that need videos and photos, that's what I make. So I, but I, I create things not that are pretty, but I create things that have a reason. I want to have somebody walk away from a video and go, I want to buy that. I want to go there. I want to stop doing this. So take what, who you are and why you do your work and use that as the explanation of what you are. So I, I do not walk into any place anymore and say I'm a photographer. I walk into a place and say I'm a mind changer. Why? Into the mind changing? How are you saying? Why I got into photography? I don't know, I was saving money for a mountain bike and I bought a camera. I have no clue why I started being a photographer. <laughs> True story, I'm not lying. So, thank you so much for putting up with our technical problems. Thanks, Pascal, that was, <laughs> well, that was a great way to end a talk.